Hello everyone, welcome back to Fights in Tight Spaces. Good news, I found the Dark Mode button, so that's a really nice quality of life thing to have. We're going to load up yesterday's game. Agent 11, sir, we have a number of emerging situations that could use your skills. So, we did training and the Death's Head Biker Gang last time. We're now going to jump into the Insiders mission. While originally a loosely connected set of gangs, the range of activities and the scope of relationships within the prison system is too great to not constitute a single powerful entity, with members seeking specific sentences in specific territories just to convey orders from their group's powerful kingpins. We need you to go undercover in a high security prison. I'm afraid orange isn't my colour. Don't worry, we're sending you in as a lawyer. What you do after that is up to you. We need you to get inside and break down their lines of communication. Alright, we're going to be starting off in the prison transport then. Mission data, fight, location, prison transport, targets, four, rewards, cards and cash. Should have paid a lot more attention to these kinds of things when we started last time but you know here we are some enemies get more powerful the longer the fight goes on boosting their damage every turn kill them quickly to prevent becoming overwhelmed who is that so two of them are hitting me 28 health 28 health 23 health i can't see who is the big issue here but that's fine right we want to probably try and make use of knocking people out of this set of doors wish i could change the view on less than 45 degree turns but no dice all right so we want to be on the back wall to shove people out how much are you guys attacking for? 10, 10, and 10. But they don't currently have a target. So let's shift to here. Then we can block. And attack them. In which case we didn't need the block, but that's fine. We're expecting one more to spawn at some point. We have a front kick and a push and a slip so we might get hit for it and we do still only have nine hp left from our last mission which is definitely worth noting ah uh, here we go prisoner rank and file of the insiders punch deals 11 damage boost damage gains plus one damage modifier for every turn alive well i should have noticed that shouldn't i shiv deals 10 damage ignores block all right, that's going to be some level of problem then, isn't it? Let's front kick you. Then we dodge. Uh, we slip one step forward. We push that guy out into the void. And then we dodge to make sure we don't take any damage here. And a new guy jumps in through the sunroof to give us even more issues. Shivs ignore block. This one's getting stronger. This guy has a shiv as well. All right, then. I want to be back where we have a chance of shoving people out. Twenty-three HP, twenty-four HP. Alright, I'm just going to hit this guy. Dash to here where we can be safe. Step to here. And that's all we need. Right, do we have two? We have a separate which can move somebody. Do we have a shove or anything similar? Doesn't look like it, unfortunately. 
So we're not going to be able to get this one out of the truck. This guy has 10 HP. If we can kill them, then that would be nice. Hit them. Hit them again. And then we shift out of their way. Two down, two to go. All right, this is not a fun looking place to be. 24 damage, 10 damage. All right, we're going to kick you out of the way. Then step to here. This guy ignores block, so we really need to be not next to them either. It's going to be a lot of turns, but it's better than being dead. Uh, we have a kick. We have a quick kick. We can't... We can only move in straight lines, so unfortunately... We're going to have big problems. This guy has 11 HP left. We can't do that. But we might be able to do emergency move, slip, quick kick. Front kick. Yes. Right. 24 HP. Going to kill us real hard if we get hit. But we can go quick strike. Ah, oh, we can't head smash. There's nothing to smash ahead against. That's a problem. 16 damage. Right, then it's just going to have to be a hammer fist. And a step out of the way. Right. How much you got left? Three. You're out of here. Alright. Took a whole bunch of turns, but it's fine. Watch a full replay of your fight by pressing the show replay button. Is that going to do it all really in quick succession? Make it look Keanu Reeves style. Nah, it's pretty, pretty tame. Uh, quick replay, thanks. Right, new card, no cash. Virtuous Circle. If combo is over five, gain three combo. Interesting. Body blow, deal six damage and get an additional ten damage to stunned enemies or taunt. Give me virtuous circle. Sell mission, do mission data informant. Sell 4C targets for cards and cash. Mission. Oh, we've never done an informant mission before as opposed to a fight mission. We are not going to have cash for the gym or the medical, so that doesn't matter. So let's try an informant fight and see what our objective is here. That's some fancy colours. There is an informant in the enemy gang marked in yellow. If you can defeat the other enemies without knocking out the informant, there will be a bonus reward for you. To maintain their secret, the informant will continue to attack you without hesitation. The informant will take full damage from all attacks. So, we want to kill the other two and prioritize not killing the informant, huh? That's going to be interesting. Let's start with a separate. Actually, let's start with assessing our enemies here. Tattoo guy, a dangerous adversary who can move up to three tiles per turn. Injure, deals 10 damage up to two tiles away. If target has no block, they receive a random injury card. All right, well, we have a step, which is good, so... Let's, and this guy prisoner, punch 10, boosts per turn, right? So, separate these two. They both get hurt. Then front kick this guy. We advance towards them, one tile. 
This guy is still hitting the place we stood, unfortunately. Or 10. If target has no block, we can just block through that rather than stepping. That keeps our combo up. Hopefully, that's how that's going to work out. Alright, 14 HP here. Get down. 16 on the back end. Alright, we don't have any good attacks on us right now. Someone's going to spawn here, but we would be attacked if we were stood there. Right where we are, this is going to be 10 blocks. So, we'll block. And do nothing. I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to use taunt correctly, but we'll get there eventually. Oh, that's a, a cozy looking fellow. Enemies with auto attack attack you and anyone else the moment you step into their range of attack. They are indicated with this icon. Be careful, once they've used their auto attack, enemies may still be able to attack normally on their turn. Enemies can use block the same way as you. In order to damage them, you'll need to reduce their block to zero or use abilities that ignore block. So, we've got a great big old tank here. Armored prisoner. Prisoners have raided the prison armory and have stolen a load of guard equipment. Nightstick deals six damage from one tile away. Block. Gains 8 block at the start of each turn. Auto attack. Can auto attack once per turn. Well, that's unpleasant. And we need to get all the way back there. So. Slip. Emergency move. 16 HP left here. Punch him. And we'll block with counter. I don't know if it counts towards our combo or not. Seems to be a no. This is a terrible place to be. Oh, God. All right, this guy is going to hit. Are you going to hit our guy? Waiting for target will auto attack. Okay. Do we have 10 damage? We do. He gets head smashed into a brick wall. Then we're going to dash forward one. Deal four damage plus one damage per combo. Range one to two. Maintain distance. He's got shield anyway, of course. And they get eight fresh shield every time. That's not fun. Head smash will end our combo. We can't really use it right now, though, because there's nothing stood next to them. So let's start with a kick. You can't attack us now. You will attack us, but we can dash one away. Oh, you retaliated, huh? Well, that's a problem. I didn't realize that attacking from a target that they had would also cause us to be hurt like that. All right, step to here. Shift all the way over here. Hopefully that way we only have one thing to contend with per turn. So much health. If I could kick him out of the room, that would be ideal. Don't have any other movement though, so... They're hitting for six from one tile away. Lock. Kick. Ah, damn. They retaliate every time, huh? Oh, well, this got awkward. We don't have enough combo for combo finisher, unfortunately. If 
we hit them from this tile, they will kill us. You're going to hit us for 17. Jeez. Right. Dash one back. Stick counter. We can't hit an empty space. Oh, this is not good. Lock. Push. This guy can't hit us. This one is going to hit us for 18. We only have 10 block and 3 health. If we step into his range, he's going to hit us for 6. And then hit us for 6 again. We can actually survive that. But this is not ideal. And, right, we're going to have to quick block. Kick. We block. How much health have you got left? 18 still. Right, I'm hoping you only hit us once. In retaliation per turn. Man, we got to kill him now, otherwise we're not going to get there, are we? Head smash would certainly help. Oh, the retaliate! I'm so dumb. We get a do-over? How often do we get a do-over? We didn't use a rollback. Let's just keep going for... My own learning and momentum. I love to see the bloodstains are still around. Right. I don't know if our draw is exactly the same as it was previously as well. Right, this guy's going to hit 10. We can block. Kick you into the wall again. Just a little block for us. Right, six damage here. I'm actually going to attack you for 14. Then we've got no more attacks. But we can push you away. And block the other guy. Our asset really is not interested in attacking us, are they? Right, let's go long strike. Yeah. Put some counter up. You're attacking us for 10. Put some more block up. Alright, we can use the space around us much to our advantage also this combo finisher is kind of massive All right if combo is over five gain three combo let's do that then emergency move over here that takes us down to eight combo this would end our combo this would also end our combo Combo. 12 damage plus 1 per combo or 8 damage plus 2 damage per combo to an enemy up to 2 tiles away oh that was much smoother achievement unlocked immovable object no idea what that one was for specifically but I'm happy to have it level 1 prisoners Classic plus, extra objectives one, turn four completion, 55%. So we get a new card and we get plus 15 health for protecting the informant. Lord knows I really needed it. 
Uh, redirect. Change a target enemy's facing and force them to attack immediately. Throat punch. Deal four damage. Deal one stun when the target has no block. Ponder. Discard one card, then draw two cards. I like the notion of stunning stuff, please. We still have no cash, so none of this is good for us. Off to the canteen. Mission data. Fight. Location canteen. Target six. Rewards. Is that a card upgrade and cash, perhaps? Oh, there's a chef. Enemies with combo attacks hit you multiple times during a single attack. If you have dodge, this means that you will only be able to dodge one of the multiple attacks. Damage modifiers apply to each of the multiple attacks. Some enemies can heal themselves and their allies. If you prevent them from acting during their turn, by example stunning or throwing them, their ability will not trigger. God, this chef's got 55 HP. And there's going to be a total of six enemies here. And you have a shotgun. Deals eight damage and push one block eight gain. Right, what I'd really like to do is... We can see there's a red line for a doorway here. If I could even just push one guy out of there, we'd be in much better stead. This guy's going to hit for 18. I don't know if counter does 10 damage three times. But I don't really want to find out, particularly if I'm going to get shot as well. So. Let's slip to here. Now we're getting hit for 10, but that's fine. We can counter, quick block, and quick attack. Deal four damage and one push. Push if the destination tile is occupied, deal damage. All right. We counter that one. Hopefully they should die soon. This guy is able to shoot over the tables. There's someone spawning here next turn. Do we have 10 damage? We do. I will take it. Right. Where do we want to stand? Oh, there's two enemies coming in. That's fun. I guess if we stand here, we're not getting attacked for a moment. God, these guys got heavy. Jeez. We do not have slip. We can't dash out of here. We don't have stun. Can't emergency move either. So. Separate here. You're shooting for one with one block. But if you push me, you're going to push me into that guy. But you're going third, so it's not as much of a concern. I still think I'd rather be... Ah, you know what? Let's dash to here. Then block. I think that's about the best that could go. This guy is feeding. All enemies gain 8 health. God, this game got so much more extreme so quickly. I'm going to push this guy back. Then... I'm going to 
slip to here. Emergency move to there. Head smash the chef. Uh, we spent all of our combo to do that. We're not currently being attacked. So... Playing these does not get us any combo back. They all heal for eight, which is terrible. A stun is a negative status effect that can prevent an enemy from acting. It goes into effect the moment they get stunned and clears one turn after. That's because I've drawn my, yeah, throat punch. Deal four damage, deal one stun when the target has no block. You're going to hit us for six. That's fine. Let's throat punch the chef. Oh, the auto. Right then. Well, we still have two energy. So, counter, quick block. Thirty-eight health left here. We've still got five enemies to kill. There's only four on screen. Oh, it's gonna get us hit again. Yeah. got two health left i probably could have figured that out in some better way but i think we're toast we dodge that one we get slashed up all right i don't think i am strong enough to defeat that mission as we are so we return to map i'm going to assume we can't actually do anything oh we can come back to the gym apparently we have no cash but we can which is interesting But yeah, I think it's time for us to abandon this one. No, take me back. Now that we've learnt so much, we're going to exit to the main menu. And then next time we will start up a fresh game with fresh knowledge. And we will actually try and build a stronger deck rather than just having no cash throughout the entire run. But for now, thank you ever so much for joining me. If you're enjoying fights in tight spaces, do let me know in the comments down below. If you have any questions or comments about what you've seen, you can ask those down there as well. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.